Hello and welcome back and well you know what this is it's another big prime day sale the Amazon prime big deal day awful name and a lot of you want to know what are the best deals out there that let's be realistic are actual deals we do this every time there's a big season we don't monetize this video there's no ads on this it's just me going through all the deals that I found in different Amazon regions all the way around the world showing you deals that I would personally buy either based on reviews that I've done before or in the case of a few little products they're ones that are coming up on the channel very very soon but before we go straight to those and again if you only come for the deals go to the chapters they're all listed there um, a few disclaimers straight off the gate okay, as we make our way to the screen number one all of the deals that I found that I'm going to be updating over the next couple of days can be found here on this page. So as I find them in different regions, I'm adding them here. Needless to say, uh, they are affiliated links here. So if you do use those, we, uh, me and Eddie and as compares get a commission. Uh, but we wouldn't put them on there if we don't legitimately think they are deals. Uh, to do that, a lot of the time we use websites like Camel, Camel, Camel. A website like this, for example, you can utilize it to verify deals. So for example, here we have an Amazon Prime Day deal and oh, a Prime Big Deal Day, whatever they call it awful name and it's 149 dollars they're saying they're down by 21 percent we chucked it into um the uh, camel 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 app and as you can see here they're listed there and you can get a historical database there of where it's at in the past you can find out whether it is a legitimate deal or not based on what the price has been for a given period of time and again in some cases particularly when it comes to things like wd do keep in mind that wd have their own website which does often have its own promo deals probably one more for black friday but it does give you some idea that when you see a price on there and you compare it against the us price also, you have to factor in tax. Nonetheless, there are some occasions, this isn't one of them, where it's cheaper to buy directly from the manufacturer. Also, if you are interested in buying a NAS and, you know, you're looking away from the big two, QNAP and Synology, I'm pleased to say that Acer Store, for example, are running some pretty substantial discounts in the US and in Canada, detailed on the link in the article below. And the same goes with TerraMaster, who have gone proper global. And again, this includes, I'm impressed to say, their new range as well. That new uh, 9-bay i7 with a couple of 10Gs is also that new SSD model as well and their hybrid NASA. We'll be talking about some of these later on, but again, that covers US, Canada, um, Australia, Germany, France, Italy, Japan. It covers all of them, but that's the disclaimers out the way. Let's crack on with some US deals. Now, it may come as no surprise that the US and the UK seemingly have the best deals at the moment. This is something we've seen every single year, but I will say that it's actually a little bit more in other regions as well. Also, a lot of the deals that I'm going to talk about now for the US and then the UK are actually available in other regions as well. So I've not duplicated them later in the video, but you'll find them in the links in the description below. But if you go, our very first one here is the QNAP Dual Core uh, TS462, a four bay NAS device here, rocking out at $391. And again, there is a two bay uh, version, but it's only the four bay that's on offer. A decent little box, we've done Plex testing. It can't run the ZFS platform, but it can run the XD4 version of QTS. Lovely little NAS box there, and I would argue a very, very good price for an Intel powered. Uh, um, four bay NAS device. Next up, a little DIY NAS we talked about on the channel a while ago. This is the K100. It's got four M.2 NVMe slots there. It's running on an N100 CPU with eight gig of memory there. And again, it is a decent little speedy box. We ran Unraid on it. We did performance tests and got between 800 to 1000 out of each of the slots. It is a decent enough little NAS. It doesn't quite know its identity. It doesn't arrive with any software, but at 359, it's probably one of the cheapest all flash NAS systems I've seen in the market to date. But do keep in mind that it doesn't have 10 GBE on the output there. It's got USB 3.2 there, so you can run adapters, but just keep that in mind. Next up, we've got, and this is the first of many switches we're going to talk about today. This is a six port 2.5G and 10G switch. We talked about these switches many times, but this is the cheapest I've ever seen it. At just shy of $35 this is going to allow you to add two 10 gig ports which again keep in mind you can use adapters on those SFPs but on top of that four 2.5 GBE ports it's unmanaged and we're going to talk about a better managed switch later on but still at 35 nicker that thing's a steal next up WD we already talked about it but the 8TB drives there $149 not 
too shabby there and again there are a few other wd drives but this is the best price per terabyte option i saw and going back to diy this is the first of two of the ice whale devices that i'm going to talk about this is that single board server there it's got an intel uh i believe this is the quad core version of that cpu inside and it doesn't arrive with memory but just over a hundred dollars for a ready to go pcie upgradable pocket server pretty darn good and finally at the other end of the spectrum this was the powerhouse workstation we talked about a couple of months ago this is the minus forum ms01 with an i9 13th generation cpu inside and 32 gig of memory and a 1 tb ssd i know 800 seems a lot but for a ready to go dual 10 gpe system i might add 2.5 g and dual 10 gig and usb 4 for more adapters this thing was insane and still exists this right now just over there in now my test area this is such a great little system whether you're looking at a modern uh, mini pc or you want to look at a nas upgraded diy server this system really kicks ass notwithstanding the fact that you can run a nas software on it on top of that we talked about before there is actually a nas upgrade board in the works to add six m2 mvmes to the existing three slots inside and keep in mind we just spoke about a four mvme system over here this is a gen for NVMe system as well. And finally, we've got uh, our first Gen 5 SSD of the day. This is a 4TB Gen 5 SSD, cranking up to 12.5 gig. And again, a 359. I'm not going to say it's a small number, but I'm going to say for 4TB of Gen 5 performance in excess of 12 gig, pretty darn good. And now over to the UK. The Prime Big Deal Day, I seriously can't get behind that name, uh, offers are similar, but with a few little nice spiky differences. Number one, we've got QNAP 4 Bay Hardware Raid Expansion device again 168 it's the easiest expansion device i've seen in the market and on top of that 20 percent off at a you know raid equipped four bay you can use it as a daz use it as a nas you know this is kind of a no-brainer for me in terms of if you're a qnap nas owner looking to expand and add four more bays whether you want to spread the storage or have a, a parallel running raid equipped system it's lovely stuff carrying on with ice whale we've got there the other one the zimmer board there with several different variations of storage uh, cpu and memory built into it there this is in case you want that flexibility and this for me slightly larger but with a better heat sink attached there on the top the zimmer blade and the zimmer cube on offering numerous regions next up we see that 2.5 gig switch again but the reason i include it here isn't to call this a deal i want this to be our sense of perspective when we look at this this is the eight port version of that this has got eight 2.5 gig ports and a 10 gig port but it also has poe for your cameras there to power up to 120 watts and again 75 quid might seem obviously more than the 46 but to get all of those extra ports and to get hold of poe um upgrade ability on there for your um, for your cameras and more i can't really argue with that there's a 10 port version that's got two pines um uh, 10 gig as well at just 79 dollars there for the few extra quid but it's a lower pow range there so it's good to have the two options i just wanted to include them there and if you are looking at 10 gbe i also found a lovely little affordable two port 10 gbe card here for 55 nicker again it's one of those x54 um kind of server box quality ones there the t2 but still for two ports of store uh, 10 gbe networking there at just 55 quid it's a pretty good card there also because you're getting it via amazon rather than aliexpress you've got the extra warranty um up to a year there rather than six months and of course the amazon kind of return policy there built into it there lovely stuff closing out on a couple of storage drives we've got a 4tb gen 4 drive here at 192 and again this is a full performance drive in terms of iops but in terms of traditional transfer just 4800 it is a drive that's designed to be low uh, power consuming and low heat so if you are looking for that in a more slimmer system this is a decent little option for four terabytes of mvme storage and at the hard drive scale we've got the seagate iwolf 6tb drive here again at 122 pounds it's an easy upgrade. I'm not going to say it's the best deal. I kind of dispute that 15. I'd say more, maybe 8%. This is one that on Camel, Camel, Camel was a bit debatable. But it's the best hard drive deal that I've seen here on um, Amazon throughout this event. 
Now, from this point forward, there isn't actually a huge number of deals for the other regions. I've included a few there and a few of the reasons why we've not seen deals. But if we hop over now into Germany, we're able to see that there isn't a vast number of deals, particularly those QNAP deals are now absent in favor of a lot of DIY options. Obviously, as mentioned, there's a lot of TerraMaster deals and that um, Ralph Witt box is now changing hands under a different name, but there's still, there is an absence of NAS offers quite considerably. Now, what there is in favor of that is a lot of DAS. We're seeing that D8 from TerraMaster. That is the one that's got four hard drive bays, four NVMe bays, and uh, does 263 euros. It's a great little upgrade box, whether you're running a TerraMaster setup or not. If you're looking for a simple external drive, the best offer I've found here, uh, in Europe at least, uh, or Germany and the rest of Europe, I might add, is this one here for €111. Euros. That's that 5TB external hard drive. This is generally the going rate for this drive during these promo events. I see it quite regularly, but it's got the data recovery services built in there. It's a decent little drive. I've used one on several occasions for different videos, I might add, as well. And going back to SSDs, the Samsung 990 Pro, one of the highest performing Gen 4 drives in the market, a 4TB version of that drive. This has got IOPS in the millions. Traditional transfers there, 7.45 gigabytes per second over 6.9, and at just 279 euros, that's a great deal for a Gen 4 drive if you're going to upgrade your gaming rig or your editing rig. And finally, in the Gen 5 territory, once again, we're looking at the Crucial T700. That's a Gen 5 4TB drive at just 420 euros. It's a big number. I'm not going to say it like it isn't a big number, but for a Gen 5 4TB in Europe, 420 euros is actually not that bad. Now, the rest of Europe actually didn't have a great deal of interesting deals. A number of the things that we've already talked about were already featured in those regions, but really the only um, part of Europe that I could find, other than the UK and Germany, that had any pathway decent deals was Italy. Italy, I found, not only was the majority of the Ralph Witt series on offer, which again, we've had mixed feelings about this, and we're going to be doing a follow-up video after talking to the brand about this box, uh, about some of the things they wanted to challenge in my recent video, but I will say if you are looking for an affordable M100 or N305 box, they are still very much in the running. Uh, again, multiple of their solutions are currently available in the Italian Prime Big Day Deal sales. Uh, moving forward from that, we've got Acer Store with some of their continued offers outside of Canada and the US with the Nimbus Store series on offer in several different locations, but on the best price I've found thus far, at least in terms of euros, here in Italy. Moving forward, we've got a RAID card here that I found, uh, a SATA-based, uh, a SAS-based RAID card here for your DIY NAS upgrades. We talked about that a while ago uh, with the Silverstone case. And finally, for surveillance users, I found a Seagate Skyhawk uh, series 4 TB drive for 102 euros. Keep in mind, 100 euros give or take is about the going rate for a 4 TB drive when it comes to surveillance drives, which are geared more towards write than read. You tend to find them more expensive than this. Again, camel, camel, camel to check that out. Finally, an 8 port 10 GPE SFP switch here at 127 euros. That is 8 individual SFP 10 gig ports and it's managed. It's that slightly basic software. But nonetheless, at least we are talking about a managed switch that's pure 10 GBE and you can use adapters. I wouldn't recommend many of them because they do get quite hot in such a close cluster. But nonetheless, a great little switch. Now, taking a very brief break, I want to talk about those regions that didn't really have any offers. Now, there are several reasons for this. Some regions just simply do not engage with these larger promo affairs. For example, although they are talking about a promo event in Japan, it isn't quite the same. And the Japanese Amazon do really have nothing going for it there. The same goes if you look at the Chinese uh, Amazon, which does actually exist. And then on top of that, things like France, which are either duplicating existing promos or the promos that they had, which is not as competitive as the rest of Europe. Now, when I moved over to Australia, this is something of a growing trend that we're starting to see. And I no, they're not in Europe, but generally they seem to be pulling away from a lot of these offers. And I've spoke to lots of you in the comments about during these big seasonal um, promo events how Australia kind of get screwed over and this is a trend that has continued quite considerably but one that i've also noticed is the netherlands given just how many products are shipped from overseas into europe via the netherlands point there for tax reasons and also for distribution hub reasons there's some real terrible deals on the netherlands based amazon pages there um, but of all the uh, regions that i've talked about probably the one that stood out for me the most is when we were looking at canada 
more often than not, Canada is normally terrible for promo deals, but this time around I've actually found quite a few decent ones. So for example, we mentioned it earlier on, the number of uh, Acer Store deals, including the Switch by the way, that are being made available in the Canadian um, Amazon pages there. On top of that, there's been numerous SSDs on offer there, 2.5 uh, and M.2 NVMEs. Indeed, some of the deals that we talked about thus far that generally don't make their way to Canada are actually visibly here. For example, $41 2.5G and 10G switch. Normally they miss out on promos like that with an enormous discount there of 54%. Even though that's a bit inflated, it's still a good 20-30%. Same goes with internal enclosures and upgrades for DIY servers. A lot of different things I found from Rack Choice have been put on pretty nice offers. Again, a lot of these outside of Canada, but also very much within the Canadian Amazon remit. Terra Master, a lot of their offers were made available in Canada. And when we look at the hard drive deals, some of them have actually made it to uh, the Canada Amazon pages in a way that we haven't seen previously. This cable here I'm including simply because, although not a lot of people are going to buy this cable, I need one of these. And it blew my mind when I set up my alerts uh, prior to this event that this cable that I'm intending to buy is right now cheaper in Canada than anywhere else in the world during this. Um, I'm not going to buy it because the shipping costs will be insane. But it was just an example of some of the Canadian deals actually stepping up all the way through to some of the SSDs as well. Like this one, this is that 2TB DRAMless SSDs for those that are looking for a low heat, more compact system there and again all four versions of this drive are on offer and surprisingly competitive but there you go that has been the amazon big prime day deals whatever it calls itself offers i would personally recommend and go for myself during this event again they're all linked in the description this video has no ads on it but if you are interested in any of the stuff that we talked about the links are in the description and using those will result in a small commission to me and eddie to run nas compares this is like a fundraising event for us to help us keep doing what we do with a free support section i will also add that at the bottom of the pages and on the top of the pages as well at nas compares we've got our long running um, deal page here where we add community deals as we go each of them detailing what the offer is and where in the world it is available again other people add deals they're voted on up and down and again as mentioned we've got different promo pages like this one that are showing you the deals that we're updating over the course of the next few days and individual brand um, deal pages where we found them and sort of club them all together to make them a lot easier to find there depending on the region and once again camel 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 if you want to verify a deal but, but that's about it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video